Hello, my name is Kamal, and in this video, our capstone team, Ahmed, Curtis, Kevin, and Richard, will be exhibiting our project to you. Drawing inspiration from Koenig 6 free valve system and CamCon's intelligent valve actuation system, we decided to set out to build our own camless engine system within an eight month time frame. In this video, we will provide you with a detailed overview of our automotive slash mechanical, mechatronics, and software aspects of our project. Hope you enjoy. Hi, my name is Curtis and I'm here to explain the apparatus in front of you. Uh, this is a four stroke single cylinder engine and it was originally carbureted and we've uh, converted it to an electronic fuel injection system. The electronic fuel injection system consists of many parts and uh, sensors in order to give us data to collect uh, for emissions. In front of you, you'll see the exhaust system with an uh, air fuel sensor. You'll see the spark plug, the fuel injector, fuel injector, the MAP sensor, and fuel lines. You'll also see the throttle plate. All of this is connected to the intelligent brains down below, which gives signals and uh, like codes to the sensors to operate. You also see the fuel system and the individual battery to power the EFI system. On a separate battery, uh, we are using that to turn the starter and the starter key uh, so that there's no voltage drop during operation for the Ecotron system. Uh, all of these, uh, all the data and all the sensors uh, are communicated through to the laptop, which can be seen over here in live operation. Every single line identifies a parameter uh, that we can see, and then easy view, uh, we have just gauges to basically identify what are our main parameters. The overall uh, goal of this project was to remove the camshaft, uh, which can be seen here in my hand, and uh, replace it with a pneumatic system, which is now attached to the cylinder head above. Our capstone project was to eliminate the traditional mechanical camshaft and replace it with a pneumatic system that can actually be intake and exhaust valves in the engine with variable timing. Uh, we have an air supply here, which supplies compressed air to the two, so, uh, two fast-acting solenoid valves. Uh, these fast-acting solenoid valves have a single output port each, which drives a single-acting pneumatic cylinder. Uh, the valve assembly that moves back and forth has a spring, uh, has the original valve spring, which is used to provide return force and return it to the closed position. Um, we have a power supply providing 24 volts, and if I touch this to ground, the valve opens and closes. Okay, go ahead. Is that the one you're looking for? Yeah. The Arduino generates cam profiles, and we use two transistors to switch the, the valves on and off. Uh, you can see the waveforms here. Uh, blue and purple are the, or blue and pink rather, are the valves, or are the valve waveforms, and yellow is the crankshaft position sensor. Um, which uh, well provides feedback from the engine as to as to where the the crankshaft is. The software for our project is divided into two sections. The first section is the microcontroller. This device actuates the engine valves at precise times based on the position data from the engine, as explained by Richard. The second section is the Python script running on a computer. This script monitors the current engine speed and changes the valve timings based on whatever the user selects, as shown here. The user also has the option to automatically change the valve timings based on the current engine speed. The controller that controls those valves needs to know the position of the crankshaft at all times. So we added two opto sensors, one measuring the gear teeth. So this one receives, uh, this one gets a pulse every time a tooth passes. Uh, it goes from high to low as the light is obstructed by the tooth. And another one, which reads a small metal flag protruding from the 
from the flywheel. Uh, this flag uh, tells the software and, and makes sure that the software knows within a single rotation exactly what the angle is because if the software lost track of the teeth or started up uh, not knowing where the rotor was, it would have no way of knowing otherwise uh, where, uh, where the, the rotor was. Uh, here you can see two LEDs. The green is the intake valve, the red is the exhaust valve, which is open right now. And as the, the crankshaft rotates, you can see that the controller is changing the state of the two valves. So you can see that the, the valve timing is exactly as you would expect. You have the intake stroke, compression stroke, expansion stroke, exhaust stroke.